Hello, my babies. This is Little Isidore of Little Isidore and the Inquisitors, and you're watching the New Jersey Music and Video Spotlight. God bless you all. Hi, this is Lynette Burks, and this is the Jersey Music and Video Spotlight. Tonight, we're here with the United Group Harmony Association and their monthly meeting. And inside is one of the largest group of R&B enthusiasts. Why don't you join me, and we'll go inside and we'll talk to some of these guys. Come along. Because here comes, I pray for you. Come
This is Lynette, and we're backstage at the United Harmony Group Association, and I'm with Little Isidore of Little Isidore and the Inquisidors, and he's just come off stage, and he's all hot and sweaty, and he's just like all pumped up. <laughs> I want to know, where did you get such a unique name? Well, uh, my mother gave it to me, God rest her soul. Uh, I'm told that she gave it to me. I never met the woman. They spirited me off to an orphanage in Manila in the Philippine Islands in 1946. And by God's good graces, they flew me to the United States of America in the year 1949, where I was adopted by a wonderful family, the Inguajado family of East New York, Brooklyn. They sent me to St. Fortunata School, where I learned music and to read and write. And uh, it's my great pleasure to be here with you tonight. And with the talent that you have and with the background that you've been given, it's no reason why the crowd went wild. 
It was a great show. I saw part of it, and it's just incredible. Well, it's the most uh, rewarding feeling to be received by fine people like this. When I'm just out here doing my best and doing my job, it's a wonderfully rewarding experience, and it's my great pleasure to be here with you, Lynette. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And you and the guys have been together for, well, oh, 30 years? Well, we've been together for 36 years, uh, but there was a little hiatus in there because for 30 of those years, I was, uh, shall we say, indisposed. Um, but due to the great uh, tenacity of my band leader, Johnny Stampinato Jr., and my brother, little Leopold, who swore himself a vow of silence, when I had to take my departure and didn't speak a word for 30 years, although he's God's greatest blues singer, the forbearance and patience of these great men made it possible for me to make this triumphal return to my adoptive home, New York City and North Bergen, New Jersey. Well, we're glad you came back and gave us such a phenomenal performance. It's my great pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Hello, everyone. This is Ronnie I, and you are watching the Jersey Music and video spotlight.